Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will be exploring some fundamental concepts of fetching and displaying data from API. Here, as you can see, as I press the generate button, a new fact is generated and displayed on the screen. This fact is fetched from an API and displayed in front of you in the app. Let us get started with the tutorial. We begin with the CSS. We first set the default styles for all the elements in the web page using the universal selector. Now coming to HTML, we create a container element with class container. Within this container, there are two child elements. First is a paragraph element with an ID fact. And second is a button element with the ID generate button. The paragraph element is left blank on purpose. Next, we set the height of body to 100% of the viewport's height and set a background color which is a linear gradient consisting of two colors. Next, coming to the container element, we set the width to 90% of the viewport and set the maximum width to 31.25 EA. Lastly, we center the container in the viewport using absolute positioning and transform property. We also make use of top and left position to center the container. To make the container pop out, we use a little bit of box shadow. To make the UI look cleaner, set the padding to 3 EM. To make the corners rounded, we set the border radius to 1 EM. Next, we style the button element that generates a new random fact. It sets the background color to orange, removes the border, sets the text color to white, adds padding, it's a border radius, font size, and adds pointer cursor. You can see the pointer cursor working here. Now we move on to the JavaScript code. Be sure you have this line in your HTML code. We first declare initial reference variables.
in the next step we create an object called options this object specifies the method headers and other parameters to be used in the api request the headers include an api key that is required to access the api to get the api key you have to go to a website called api ninja search for api ninja in google and click on the first link here you would have to click on get a free api key now all you have to do is complete this registration form and click on the register button once you click on the register button you would get a screen that's what looks like this now click on show api key and copy the api key to the clipboard you have to place the copied api key as the value to api key variable here i am hiding my api key to avoid unauthorized access or misuse but remember in real life scenario you would have to use your own api key now we create a variable called url and assign it the url to api endpoint that returns a random fact we go to the api page then to the facts in facts api as you scroll down you can see sample request url all you have to do is copy it and paste in paste it as a value of url variable and set the limit to 1 as we would be needing only one fact per click now i'm closing the tabs to hide the data we create a function called generate code that will handle the api request and update the paragraph element with the new fact i am adding a console log to the generate code function just to check if it's working properly we add a click event listener to the button and a load event listener to the window element when we click the button or when the window loads the generate code function will be executed and the console log will output hello Now let us check the console. Here, however, the console log shows an error saying the API key is not defined. This is probably due to placing the API key script below the main a uh, main script. Now let us try this once again. As you can see. the console log now outputs hello properly next we make a get request to the specified url using the option object as additional parameters and convert the data into json format
along with displaying the data in the inner text of fact let us also console log the data on checking the console log we realize we have again encountered an error i realize i have misspelled headers as header on line 6 all the errors have now been fixed you can now see as we console log the data a random fact is generated we now have to display this fact in the inner text of the fact element once we do that our generate random fact app is ready let us add some final styling to the paragraph tag we set the color to a dark blue shade adjust the font size and the line height we also set a minimum height so that the button doesn't move too much when a new code is displayed the app generates a new fact every time we click on the generate button that's it for this tutorial you can go ahead and customize this app the way you like by increasing limit of facts or maybe changing colors of the ui